Right, here we go. Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. That's Squall, and that thing he's holding is called the Gun Blade. This is when it was Square Soft as well. In my opinion, some of the best games they ever done was with Square Soft. So Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, and Final Fantasy IX were all done by this team and then when they went to Square Enix was when Final Fantasy X come along. They went with Square Enix for the uh, that gen console which was um, the uh, the 360, no it wasn't, the PS2. I imagine they just didn't have the technology. Here we go, new game. I could check all this. Um, well, battle boosts, mm, I don't think I'll be using that. that. I guess that speeds up the battle. I oh, know, the three times speed. And... No random battles if you press them both in together. No. No, we won't be doing that. Might be tempting sometimes because it can get a bit tedious, the constant random battles. But we won't be doing that, I guarantee it. Right. Oh, I had to press something. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at them graphics. One sec. To immense myself in this. I'll be there. I will indeed. Oh, this brings back memories. I'll be waiting here. Manoa. I'll be waiting for you so. If you come here, you'll find me. Ah, <sighs> I promise. And there she is. The graphics are amazing. Look at the detail in that sleeve. The graphics are stunning. I am impressed so far. Considering this is a remastered PS1 game. I know they tried to fine tune it a little bit on PC many years ago. But it was never really done clean. It just looked like a slightly better coloured. You know, a bit more vibrant than the, uh, the PS1. I did play it. That was the last time I played it. But that was probably about 9-10 years ago now. So, been a long time since I played this. We have to watch the opening sequence of all Fun Fancy games. It's just kind of lore. Sifa and Squall. Sifa and Squall with their gun blades. Sorry, I'm just going to sit up a little bit. See, they're cadets together. I think Sifa might be above Squall or something, but they are cadets together. And then this is where he gets the scar on his face. See? And they're only meant to be sparring. It's not meant to be aggressive. But you know, I see for for you. Wow. Final Fantasy VIII. If you can believe it came out in 1999. That long ago. It's actually, what, 20 years old? 20 years old this year, so that's why they re-released re it. 20 year anniversary. There's Squall. Look at the detail. You can actually see his face. Are you feeling... How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Oh, going back. These games, they didn't. you didn't hear them speak. You had to read all the text. Take it easy next time you hear. Looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. 
Now, usually I would change his name, but because of nostalgia, we're going to keep it Squall. Because, you know, Squall Lionheart, what a cool name. Why don't you take it easy in training? Next time you might not be so lucky. So that was training. I told you it was a sparring thing with him and Sifa. Tell that to Sifa. That Sifa won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? I can't just run away. You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't get hurt in the process. Let's see your instru Let's see your instructor is. Let's see. All oh, right, yeah, comma. Let's see your instructor is. I thought that was uh, that sentence was a bit strange, but there was a comma. Quistis. 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 I never knew how to say her name. I always said Quistis, but there's no N in it, so it can't be that. Quistis. I'll call her now. Just wait a minute. Quistis, come get your student. Yes, yes. His injury's not serious. It'll probably leave a scar, and it does. Right. Now please come by. Squall, so we meet again. Who's that? Was that Quistis? Was she had red hair? No, it could be someone different, actually. Oh, and that's Quistis. And she's a seed cadet, if I remember. Look at the graphics, though. They're amazing. Look at the detail in her hair. Squall, probably can get up now. I always wanted the necklace that Squall wears. Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. The field exam. Squall, is there something on your mind? Not really. Ha ha ha. What's so funny? Funny? No, no, it's not that. I'm just happy. I feel like I'm beginning to understand my student a little. That's all. I'm more complex than you think. Oh yeah, um, Squall's also got this sort of like, I don't know, this complex thing. Like, he needs to be all mysterious and silent and quiet and no one understands him and stuff. I mean, it starts making sense towards the end of the game why he's like that, because you realise that he has a bit of a background story, as do they all. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. Okay, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? Alright, we're walking again, sorry. She didn't want me to speak. It's none of yours business. And she's laughing again. Look at the details though. His blue eyes are so noticeable. And just everything else. I mean, so far, this is a like for like. I mean, look at that. That's amazing. I mean, you might be watching this and thinking, do you know what? The graphics aren't that great for a next gen. Well, actually, considering what they look like on the PS1, these graphics are stunning in comparison. The detail and everything. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. There seems to have been some rumours flying around since yesterday. Yes, the field exam for SEED cadets will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written test are to remain here in the study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Participants, sorry. Just be sure you're in the top condition. Meet in the hall at 600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. Any questions? I do have questions, Quintus. Oh, and Sifa. Do not injure your partner while training. Be careful from now on. Exactly, Sifa. 
Oh, but he's so angry, he punched the table. Field exam participants, I will see you all later. Come on, Squall, get up. And Squall, I need to talk to you. Let's see what's happening. La, la, la. La, 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 la. It's a great song. All right, what do you want to say to me? You haven't been to the fire cavern yet, have you? No, I have not. I know what's in the fire cav cavern, but I will keep it shh so I don't spoil it for you guys. And if you've played this game before, you know exactly what's in the fire cavern. And if you play Final Fantasy games, you'll, you'll understand. You won't be able to take part in today's seed exam if you don't pass the prerequisites. Re request. Oh, I can't even say that word. Do you know what? I'm going to skip it. Let's pretend I said it right. My reading's terrible. It is late, actually, to be fair. It's like nearly one o'clock at night, I think. Yeah, nearly one o'clock at night. I was going to go this morning, but Sifa... Mm. Do you have a good excuse? Not really. Then let's get going. Oh, she going to follow me? If you're not too confident yet, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting at the front gate, so come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. There is something, if I remember, you, something you can do there. We're going to have a look at the study panel. So I'm guessing that was my seat. And then I can go here. Oh, thought maybe an icon will appear. But no, there we go. It's probably just going to teach me about the game. Turn on the power, yeah. Tutorial, new. I don't really need a tutorial. GF data for well, searching. Oh, yeah. You have to go here to get Quizzical, whatever, and Shiva. They're GFs. GFs are the equivalent of summonings in this game. Um, or uh, Aeons, or whatever game you've played. Um, they're, they're equivalent of them. The GF stands for Guardian Force. And obviously, if you played Final Fantasy before, you all know the Goddess Shiva. Goddess of Ice. So go into the desk after you speak to Quintus, Quis, Quintus, Quistus, whatever. Um, you get these two GFs. I don't know if there's a, um, you know, kind of a time frame on it. Whether you've got to go then and they'll be locked. It'd be something to look into. Drop comments below if, you know, if that's the case. So we'll be done there for now because... I want to learn as I go. Such a good game. Such a good game. Quite a long game actually. I mean for that time. This is about. If you don't get everything. Probably about 40 hours gameplay I think it was. And that was a long time in them days. Now that's nothing. That's like most. Definitely most role playing games. But. I'm late. I'm late. What? Are you okay? I should have said nothing. I like to be a bit cold when it comes to Squall. There. To here, I'm fine. I was kind of in a hurry. Hey, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over? Whoa, oh no! This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Oh, hey, hey! I just transferred here. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? Oh, uh, should we... Yeah, go on. Alright, let's go. We'll take the elevator to the first floor lobby and I'll show you the directory. So you know why they do this? It's literally... Is it the elevator this way? I've got a feeling that's the classroom. That's the classroom. Now, I've got a feeling that um, they do this so you can have a little bit of an explore of the garden. Maybe the elevator's this way. Yeah, there it is. She came from that way. Cheeky cow. If you can hear noises in the background, that's just my dog. 
getting comfortable. That's the directory. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, and in them days, you had to save at save points or safe spheres. Well, that is it. Dormitory, yeah. Balam Garden is pretty big. It's a good idea to check where you want to go and select it here. I have a question. How do you use this? Move the cursor and press X to select. Next, I'll give a quick explanation of the various facilities. Yes, sir. Dormitory. You'll find a dormitory to the north. The majority of the students live in the dorms. There aren't too many students who commute. Yeah, I'm in their dorms too. You can rest and change in there. West of the north block is the cafeteria. There's always a big rush for the hot dogs. You better get used to waiting in line. Got it. East of the north block is the parking lot. We usually take the garden car when a mission comes up. The front gate is located to the south. I have to go meet the instructor, Treppy, at the front gate. Mm, what's the matter? Nothing. Next, we have the quad located in the west block. There's an event being planned there. I know, I know, it's the Garden Festival. It's going to be great. I'm planning to be on the committee. You want to help out too? Let's just continue. South of the west block is the infirmary. There is where you get treated for your injuries, but a lot of students just come here for advice. What's the doctor's name? Dr. Kadawaki. Now the east block. This is the training centre. It's the only facility open at night. It's used for training and they have real monsters running loose here. Oh, cool. If you don't take it seriously, you may end up dead. Just be careful. Gulp, okay. South of the east block is the library. There's a lot of material you can look up here, but the terminals in the classroom are a lot more efficient. And you already know about the classroom on the second floor, right? Yep, I remember that one. By the way, the headmaster's office is located on the first, uh, third floor. You need permission to get in. Another question. What's the headmaster's name? Ah, uh, Sid. Sid is a very popular name in all Final Fantasy games. He's always there. Always. Without fail. That's about it. Anything else? Got it. TV's trying to turn off. Hey, um, are you taking today's seed exam? Yeah. Then maybe I'll see you again later. I've already finished my training at my previous garden. I'm taking the seed exam today too. Good luck to both of us, huh? Thanks a lot. Right, she's gone. So, as I said... These in the days were your save points. And then you would have to oh, go to the menu while you were there. And then you could click save. Click your slot. Click on an unused block. Data saved. And there you can see. And the reason it says disc 1 as well. Because there was four discs to this game I believe back in the day. It was a long Final Fantasy game. Right, let's go. Oh, another thing about this is the maps didn't, you know, you, you didn't get located to point you in the direction like a lot of games do these days. No, you, uh, you had to follow, literally talk to people. Perhaps I should go home this weekend. I really should go and visit my parents. You'd have to talk to people and hope that they would give you directions of where you needed to go. So, I need to go to the fire caverns. I imagine I will find out shortly where that is. Right, I think this one here... See, a draw point. There's a couple of them scattered around, but it's one of the uh, techniques that one of your characters will learn later on. It's a very complicated game. It really is. It's a really awesome game, though. Still, it's just brilliant. Just it brings about so much memories. 
I could talk on forever about this game, to be fair. Right. Quistis, I have a few things to explain before we head off. Go on, Em. GFs give us strength. The stronger the GF, the stronger we become. So here's a brief explanation on junctioning a GF. Right, here we go. Junction. Junction tutorial. Junction enables enables characters to power up and use abilities. This means a GF must be junctioned in order to power up and use abilities. I get that. Let's begin by junctioning a GF. Right now, no GF is junctioned. All other commands in grey cannot be selected yet. Once junction is selected, GF, yep, GF and magic command appears. We can see that. Since no GF is junctioned, magic is displayed in grey. Let's junction a GF by selecting GF. A GF list appears. Oh, I ain't got it for it. Press square to see the abilities, yeah. Okay, yeah. The abilities are HP junction, vit vitality junction, etc. Yeah, I can see all that. Did you see the draw there? Let's choose a GF. When quiz quizical, quizical is selected, its abilities, HP, J, and Vitality, J, makes the stats HP and Vitality appear in white. Okay, yeah, I see it. Magic can now be junction to HP and Vitality. But since there is currently no magic, we will move on. Setting abilities. Okay, yeah. And two non-command abilities for the characters and party. Yeah, I get it. A total of five abilities can be set. Depending on the GF's abilities, the maximum is four non-command abilities. This means that up to seven abilities can be set. Let's set some abilities. First select a slot. The top window is for command abilities used during battle. The bottom window is for character and party abilities. Yeah, I get ya. Selecting the top window displays command abilities. And selecting the bottom window displays characters and party abilities. Yeah, I can see that. Since there is currently no magic, let's set the command ability draw to get some magic. When an empty slot is chosen, the cursor moves to the right. Select draw to set the command draw. This is how command abilities used during battle are set. Let's add GF and items to the list of command ab and abilities. Yeah, of course. Now GF and items are set, let's see a non-command ability by moving the cursor down. So we've got magic up 20%. A character ability is displayed. Now let's set magic plus 20%. Select an empty slot. Done. Okay. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you. Everything okay up until now? You can always check back by accessing tutorial from the menu. Thank you. Once we get to the fire cavern, I'll explain how junction magic, how junction, how to junction magic. Use command draw during battle and stock magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stocked. Okay, ready, go. East of here. See, I told you, I told you that it will always give you a direction to go. And she's not joining us. What I'm going to do is quickly go to, uh, what was it, Junction and Squall, um, GF, give him Shiva. Alright, there's no magic, so then what? Oh yeah, abilities, we'll give him GF, draw an item and then he's got nothing there and then we give her oh we give her the other gf and then we go ability we give her magic gf wait draw item and can she could not use anything. I just want to check see if Squall is actually got. 
Yeah, cool. I've taken magic off both of them because you can't use magic. I've got a feeling that I can draw. I can draw magic now with this. So we go here and we go. So we found cure. Stocked five cures. Perfect. Right, let's go. Ready? To the east. Right, so. Um, just trying to work out. This doesn't seem to be a northeast southwest. Well, let's have a look. Right, so if that's north. I'm presuming that's north. We follow the... Oh, yeah, battle. We go east. Early battles, make sure that you draw him. Cool. So, we draw. And we just stock up. Cool. And then. Oh, I didn't use it. You've got to time the trigger. So just as you make contact, there'll be a small explosion if you pull it off right. Didn't do it. Nope. Well, we won, at least. But uh, I, will, I will get used to that trigger. It's just been a long, long time. Right. M stone piece. Maybe they sent the right way. Let's just have a look. Because it don't look like it's that way. Because that's blocked by a train station. Unless there's something over there. It's been a while. Maybe it's over there. I swear I remember it being this way. Or I might remember of coming this way. And then never actually coming. You know. <sighs> Let's do this again. Same creature. Chance for first strike. Yeah, got it. You know, there's nothing wrong with like you know getting into a load of battles at this stage to level up. No fire caverns. Should we go in the forest? Yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh, it looked bigger than it actually was, but I remember that. Right, I've got a feeling that when you draw from him, it gives you cure and electricity. We definitely want cure. That's how you heal in this game. Yeah, I told you it would give us thunder. I think you can only draw from them once. Just, just slapped him with a string. Yeah. Come on, we can do this. So when you hit with trigger, I think you when when you hit the trigger, it does a critical. Ah, there we go. That was the that is the way. You can actually bring up a map. 
Oh, three of them. That's not good. That one's dead. Oh, hit it too early then. Too early again. Too early again. Should kill it though. Oh, he, she didn't. Kill it. Don't. Yeah, I didn't hit it too early then. I got a good one. Right. There's the fire cabin. It was right next to me. Alright, let's draw from this. I'll take a scan this time. Nice. So, we got to the fire cavern. Also, um, on the, what they call the world screen, you can actually save. And then we go, yes, we're over right, and then that's say. Okay, junction magic. By junction and magic, you can raise character stats. Yep. If the GF has learnt the ability, the junction to junction onto stats, that particular stat will be displayed in white. Yeah. By junction in here. Yep. Yep. Okay, yep. Right, so we put it on strength. Yeah. And then the strength would have went up, yeah? However, there is no need to junction magic manually one by one. Select auto after junction. Okay. Yeah, I gathered all this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm 
Right, I'll get you. I get ya. Alright, let's go. So, taught me about that. Now you've taught me about magic. Let's go to Squall and see if I have any magic. Yeah, I can. So, I can equip into Spirit. Let's put Cure there. Alright, and then let's put Junction magic in there and give a fire's the best one there. Right, let's just have a quick look at where is it? Status. Okay, I see it. Okay, cool. I didn't turn that off, did I? No, let's leave it exactly how it was. Right, let's go down there. I got yellow heads. To obtain a low level GF, a seed member must support. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. I'm his support. Cool. Instructor number 14. Select a time limit. Choose one suited to your ability. Challenging yet reasonable. I think we could do it in 10. Should we do it in 10? Let's give it a go. So we've got to make it to the end of the cavern. My job is to support you in battle. Everything else is up to you. Fine. Right, before we move on, let's go to magic. Go to her. And we use quickly use heal on both of them. And we go. There's no battles in there. Oh, there we go. Battle. Bum 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 bats. Or fire bats. Why are they? Well, let's draw from them, whatever they are. Thunder's always um, useful. Nice. Oh, they're a lot weaker in the cavern. No, nothing that way. Oh, draw. Five found. Mm, squall. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, bombs. I don't have an ice attack. Do I? Not going well. So what? You f draw and you kill.
Look at them fat bats. Oh, burning me. Nice. Didn't kill a bomb though. Do these ones not expand? Because uh, on a lot of Final Fantasy, the bomb ones usually grow when you hit them. No, it's not dead yet. Well, they're taking a bit of a beating. All right, let's go. No, you should be dead. No. You'll kill it, right? Oh, no, they won't die. Do I have ice? I must have ice. We're going to call out Shiva because she is ice and they're taking too long. Like we've only got five minutes to do this entire thing. Maybe I should have given myself a bit more time. Here comes Shiva and our diamond dust. Look at her. Oh, look at the detail of her. Now this should be a, a good, yeah, look at that, 831. Ideally, oh, got some ba um, cards. <gasps> no more bobs. They're too strong. Bombs. No, something else. What are you? Oh, you're quite ugly looking, let's be honest here. Oh, something else. Would be nice if it's ice. Yeah, it is. Both of you get blizzards. Cool. Think we need blizzards. Oh, he died. Oh, he was surprisingly easy. He looked like he was going to be a lot harder. Right, just quickly, I'm going to use magic to cure both of these. They're both at max now. Right, let's go. And here we go. And something's going to pop out. Here we go. Guess who GF this is. Do you recognise him? It is the almighty. Beast of fire. Ifrit. Look at him. Right. Draw from him. Oh do you know what? We're just going to draw out both of our, um, our GFs and do serious damage. Well, he can also use his GF special. Here we go, Thunderstorm. I remember, it's like a Thunderbird, like, you know, like Sapdos or something. There we go, look. There we go. Serious damage. Should be serious. But he's weak to ice, so... Oh, did that only do 95, did that say? He's weak to ice, so... Shiva should hit him for serious damage.
Oh no! We do have Shiva. I should have changed to, um, gave myself magic. I ain't got magic, so I can't use Blizzard. So I'm going to have to spam my GFs, unfortunately. <gasps> Don't kill my GFs. Oh. Right, word of advice. When you get to this point, change draw or something for magic. Because you need magic. You need Blizzard against Ifrit. He's high in um, physical uh, defense. But magic defense, ice, is his weakness. So only going to do 95 again. Because that was ridiculous. 101. Come on, Shiva. I don't think I'm going to do this in the time recommended. Alright, here we go. I think he's weakening because he tends to talk. No, 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 no. He's going to hit me. Oh, I thought he was going to hit me with Hellfire or whatever it's called. No, we got 13 seconds left. It's going to take too long for the animation. I think you can speed up the animations, can't you? Yeah, you can. Uh, we ran out of time. Think we've got to redo the map again. I think, anyway. Yeah, I think we failed. See, game over. We'll do that again. GS take a long time to come. So, this is going to use ice attacks. Well, Squall will use Shiva for at least the first attack, or maybe the second even. But let's go. Now, I think he's only got about 1,000 or something, 1,500 HP. He's not overly strong. But... There we go. We get Shiva out in the action. See, she can do two blizzards in pretty much the same time you do one Shiva, but Shiva does take like, uh, uh, you know, 200, I think it was, damage off him. 150, maybe. So it is double what Thingy can do. <laughs> we just keep spamming Shiva and Ice. That's the best way to take out Ifrit. Come on, we got plenty of time, we're in good time. Oh, he's trying to kill Shiva. So when you're loading up a GF, it's actually the GF's health that will get hurt. So it's almost, you can use it as almost like a defense. Give yourself a bit of a shield.
Yeah, we're doing good. Right, you can hit him with another blizzard. And then you can hit him with another Shiva. Another blizzard from you. Think he's almost dead. Gonna hit me with a fire. Here comes Shiva next. We're doing all right. We are doing all right, guys. We've got two and a half minutes left. This could be it. Could be. If he starts talking. I think we did it. No, he attacked me. <laughs> right. Bring out Shiva one last time. Should We should have it. Come on. For me to lose to humans. Very well, I will join you. We done it. And it actually means that we have now got the GF Ifrit. Didn't get experience for that. Ifrit's card, yep. Yeah. See, if we, and then we confirm that. Okay. Basically. Okay, yeah. So basically, it will probably give me a bit of a boost when attacked with fire. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I see. I was right. So it'll give you like however non elemental magic like cure can have a junction. I get it. So, I guess it makes me stronger towards fire and weaker towards ice. If I put fire there, I would presume. Oh, that's an elemental attack. So, you can attack, put it in defense or attack. That's pretty cool. So, what's the last one? You can just have two in defense. Ah, and if it's a star, it's absorbed. Okay. Ah, I get it. Right, yeah. Makes perfect sense to me. Ah. Sounds good. I get ya. Actually, it's just made it more strategic, hasn't it? So we go magic first, and then which one's the best one for that? No. Right, anyway. Ah, I get it. So, having Ifrit, you can then go and put, yep, so then I can go and put Blizzard there, and what I would do then is I will put 
fire there. Puts my strength up by a little bit. But none of that. Alright. And now we got to escape. Right, we did it. Guess we gotta get back to the school now. The garden, sorry. And there it is. I'm just gonna show you Ifrit. Show you what Ifrit can do. I'll just draw. But yeah, so you get an idea of Ifrit's attack. Now he's fire element. So anything that's weak against fire, he's he's awesome. There he is. Should burn them all instantly. There we go. We're back. If I remember rightly, she gives me a lamp of some sort soon. Right, do you know what, guys? I think we're going to call it there. I just wanted to do a, uh, you know, a small video just to uh, show you what Final Fantasy VIII Remastered is like. And so far, fantastic. So, you got to see us go to the fire cavern and collect Ifrit. And so, guys, please like and subscribe and leave comments below. Let me know what you thought of this game. Let me know if it's something you want to play. It is a very old game. It's 20 years old, but it's been remastered very well. And it is, in my opinion, one of the best Final Fantasy games. I mean, it's just a really good storyline and really, like, really tugs at the heartstrings later on. And, you know, it's very moving, typical of Final Fantasy style. They don't write them like this anymore. Let's put it this way. Anyway, guys, take care of yourself, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye!